Hello and welcome to this new educational video series on women's mental health. Why women's mental health? Is there a specific difference between mental health among men versus women? If so, why focus on women's mental health? Are there any specific mental health problems that are faced by women? If so, where to seek treatment? Where to go for help? These are some of the questions that will be answered in this series. In this first episode, we will pose questions to our expert about some of the fundamental concepts related to women's mental health. Come, let us meet our expert. Mental health has been defined as uh, the uh, ability to cope with day-to-day -day stressors effectively, to be aware of one's own strengths and abilities, to be productive and work efficiently, and to contribute to society and the community. These are This is the definition of mental health. Now, how is mental health different in men and women? Um, the kind of problems which are there in men are slightly different from that, those in women. So women have more depression and anxiety disorders. Men have more substance use disorders. Also, uh, women tend to face a lot of other kinds of stresses uh, related to partner violence, related to their reproductive challenges, whereas men tend to face other, you know, masculinity related issues. So I think in so many ways, uh, the nature of problems between men and women can be very different. I think it's very important to focus and pay emphasis to women's mental health for many reasons. One is the women are the crux of the family. If the woman is happy, the family is happy. They are the ones who parent the children and they contribute to many other social aspects of one's life. So if the woman has a problem with her mental health, it can spill over to the rest of the family. Also, uh, women can be very important sources of strength to their parents, to their siblings, to their friends. And so having a woman mentally healthy is extremely important for society. So women tend to have more depression, at least four times more depression compared to men. They also have more anxiety related disorders compared to men. Otherwise, more or less the symptom, the conditions are very similar. Men, like I said earlier, have more substance use, alcohol use related problems compared to men, women, which is very less in women. Uh, so these are the conditions. In addition, of course, the reproductive health related problems, problems related to the menopause, problems related to the perinatal period, pregnancy and postpartum or menstrual cycle related mood changes, uh, mood changes related to treatments that they receive uh, or like oral contraceptives. So these are the conditions conditions where women tend to have different kinds of problems and more problems. So one of the things that people often do, even if there is a mild depression or anxiety, people tend to label women as having a madness, as being crazy. If they are a little emotional, they are labeled as being a, having a mental health problem. As a result, women find it very hard to access help. So what they do is they tend to talk about physical problems like pains and aches rather than talking about psychological problems because it is underplayed. People will not pay attention to psychological problems and say you just have to adjust, you just have to cope. Uh, and so we find that women, there is a lot of stigma in accessing help and also, uh, you know, seeking support. I think one of the things that women need to be aware of that uh, social supports are very important to, to have a good social network to have friends and to share problems with others once you share problem with others the problem is halved women tend to think that you know if they're facing domestic violence for example that it is a secret they should keep it within the family uh, these are issues which women should talk about should reach out for help uh, and should not shy off um, you know accessing help the other issue I think is contributing to society 
it's important that women not only think about their own families their own children but become an active member of communities and societies which will help them to gain more strength uh, and to also uh, improve their mental health I think the society and family have a very strong role to play right from the the woman is a child so making her feel valued making a girl child feel valued making an adolescent girl be more strengthened more empowered educated having a choice in marriage and then subsequently ensuring that women do not face violence or if they face violence they are able to talk to people and get support these are things that actually the society can ensure uh, to en to enhance women's mental health So I think it depends on the context in which the woman is. So if she's in a village, in a district, then she can approach the Asha worker, the Anganwadi worker, the primary healthcare doctor, and not think they are only for her physical problems. She can approach them and talk about her own mental health issues with them. If she's in a workplace and is facing problems, then there are workplace-related counselors, mental health support, so she can access help there. If it's an adolescent girl who's facing problems, then she can actually reach out to her teachers, her school, uh, and seek help. Uh, I also think it's very important for obstetricians to be there as a support system because a lot of women, especially in pregnancy and later, reach out to obstetricians and their general practitioners uh, for help. So I think these are all the places that a woman can actually reach out to get mental health support. Also, there are many NGOs. Uh, the government has many one-stop centers for violence, shelters. So there are many facilities where a woman facing distress can actually go and seek help. This concludes the first episode in our series on women's mental health. In this particular episode, we focused on some of the fundamental concepts related to women's mental health, what are the different mental health issues faced by women and where to seek help. We will be back with our next episode. Namaste.